Hey, what's going on guys? And I'm going to be bringing you another money making guide today and we're going to be doing some orbs and I'm going to be showing you guys every single orb and here are the requirements on the screen for this one and that's the water and I can show you guys where it's at. I don't really recommend doing the water or the fire because you're going to need 80 agility to do them efficiently. Although I did do fire for this one because I have 81 agility so I can. But you do make the most with these but by the time you're 80 agility you're making money in so many different places and doing better stuff by them. But definitely there are people that do water orbs and fire orbs still so it's pretty much whatever floats your boat. But I personally if I ever do power orbs which I don't really do that often but if I do I end up doing fire because I can do the 80 agility but I wouldn't recommend going to 80 agility just because of this. And let's move on to Earth at this point. And like I said, you're going to need Cosmics, three of them per cast, the Unpowered Orbs. And for this method, you're going to need an Amulet of Glory instead of the Fowl or Teleports. And you start off at Edge Bank and make your way down here. Another thing to note about this is that you will be in the Wilderness. I believe where you're going to sit is going to be, for the Earth Obelisk, it's going to be about 2 or level 3 in the Wilderness. and go south instead of north. Yeah, it's only level 2 in the wilderness. It's not that risky, but like I said, just want to let you know it is in the wilderness, so don't bring a bunch of stuff on you. I'm only risking like probably 5k worth of stuff. Actually, I'm risking more because of the cosmic runes, but honestly, if you are doing these ones in the wilderness, only bring about 50 cosmics at a time or whatever it takes to charge all the orbs. I think it's actually more like 70 because it's like 3 per cast. And here's the fire obelisk method. You're going to need cosmic runes, unpowered orbs, teleport to Falador, anti-dragon fire shield, and anti-poison, and 63 magic and 80 agility is recommended. You can do this with 70 agility, doing the pipe shortcut, but it will take you a little bit longer. and I just jump on the spike with 80 agility and I run west. I took the ladder to go up to the water orb but here is the one for the fire. And doing these ones actually make you the most money. Just to let you guys know the black dragons cannot reach you from here. And here's the recommendations for the Air Obelisk. Also Cosmic Runes, Unpowered Orbs, and the Amulet of Glory Teleport, and 66 Magic. And go ahead and make your way down like you did to the Earth. A lot of people like to do Air the most, because you get the most experience, It's and it's also the highest one for when you are crafting battle stars. If you guys are wondering what these Air Orbs are for, people use them for pretty much mad crafting XP. And this one's level 7 in the wilderness. You're, you shouldn't really worry about getting PK'd here. I've never really seen a PK'er out here, but like I said, I wouldn't carry too many cosmic runes at a time. So let's go ahead and sell all the fire orbs I got. I only got 530 fire orbs in one hour. And I made... Let's, let's go ahead and put the total in. Alright, so I bought... I used 1,590 cosmic runes and I paid 168 GP per. So that's 276 or 267k worth of cosmic runes. And I also bought 530 unpowered orbs which was almost 16k GP. 
I just put up in the notepad of how much exactly everything cost. You guys won't look at that, but I'm going to subtract how much everything was. And I made 543k in one hour doing it this way, and got like 40k magic experience. So this is essentially like 500k an hour and also 40k magic experience an hour. But that's it, and I'll see you guys later.